dream return to the first division has been looking a touch nightmarish of late. A slump back towards Division 2 was looking all too likely. West Ham were the visitors on Saturday. Derby's dream return to the first division has been in danger of doing an Eddie Edwards. They were without a win in 13 games. Not that there was any sort of defeatist talk coming from manager Arthur Cox last week. You thought you was coming here today to see me walking on my chin and everything, didn't you? No, no, no. Still, Derby looked frightened and timid at first, almost as if they were about to be pushed off the 90-metre ski jump. Instead, the 5.9s for artistic content were going to Liam Brady and the rather figure of bit he made his league day two decades ago. Eventually, though, Derby did start to believe in themselves. Phil G with the chance, but McAllister in the way. Derby really were making it difficult for themselves. There was no doubt about their penalty claim. And Ted McMinn was the man with the confidence to take the kick. But Super Ted was left feeling a right chump after the miss. Then West Ham lost Liam Brady, stretched it off with knee ligament troubles. The West Ham manager, John Lyle, had to bring on the substitute as Brady went off to hospital. But Kevin Keane didn't let the manager down, forcing a brilliant save from Peter Shilton. Derby's solitary goal came just after the break, and a special one it was too, from Nigel Callaghan. It demoralised West Ham and gave Phil G a bit of inspiration. West Ham, of course, had a late revival, but once again, Peter Shilton was down to do enough. Arthur Cox knows Derby aren't safe yet, but at least there's now something for the fans to get excited about.